Yeah. Scene one, take one. Sink. They're starting to appear quite quickly now. We're starting to see quite a lot of gadgets coming along which will respond to the physical presence of people. And I'm confident that in 10 years, the, the home will be a lot more efficient thanks to this Internet of Things type technologies. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Well, we've, we've installed um, batteries into about seven or eight houses or in social housing, and we've been working with the occupiers to try and change their behaviour so that if they do their washing in the morning, the yeah. battery can then recharge itself during the day from the solar power mm. from the PV like six, panels. Seven years. So I can imagine in 10 years' time, 15 years' time, a heat pump is would be built into a new <coughs> building anyway as an mm -hmm. integral part of mm -hmm. it. Ground source heating, when, uh, like the Absolutely projects right that are being done now, where it's one central borehole yeah. for 20 houses or 40 mm. houses. When you Wouldn't see it be it, great to say, I want to live there, here's a plot of land, I want to buy that amount of house now mm. and then I want to be able to add on very simply another mm -hmm. well, so module. The whole heat challenge is the, the one yeah. where I think the smart home and, mm -hmm. and smart uh, use of energy using it at different times and making sure the fabric of the home is fit for whether you're in it or not and where you are in it all of that is the thing that I think mm -hmm. will have to come together to solve. Things, if you think about solar power today you always think in terms of solar panels on a roof yeah. mm -hmm. but uh, uh, coatings are being developed as yeah. we speak yeah. mm -hmm. which you can just paint on any mm -hmm. surface at all and it becomes a de facto solar yeah. panel. Some of us, the in-home charging thing will always be yeah, crucial absolutely. and that's good, yeah. good too because it provides that service to the yeah. grid when we smart charge it and use smart meters and electric vehicles and or vehicle vehicles to grid, grid chargers well, really mm -hmm. and take pressure off the grid in that peak period because yeah. we're selling energy back to the grid from the battery in our car. Yeah. It's home charging with smart, yes. it's rental cars and it's lamp post charging. It yeah. won't be your, it'll be no. all of it adding up mm -hmm. together yeah. to help us save the planet. And when you take a shower, you're, all that hot water is going straight down the, the, the plug hole. There's nothing to stop us from taking that energy back and using it to reheat another part of the house. I mean, all you've got to do is store the water for a while until it cools down to room temperature and you've, re you've recovered that heat. So you can easily see how someone's house, from the windows to the walls to the yes. roof to everything, mm -hmm. could be a power station. Yeah. And, then, and then you're using the products at different times to optimise that. You've got the battery in your home that can, can make sure you're using the energy yeah. at different times. You're selling some back to your neighbours. I think there is a job to be done on getting people to know about this stuff. Yeah. Because, you know, whether it's insulation, electric cars, um, all the kind of uh, innovative tech that you've been talking about, most people don't know that that can really help them, both from a kind of environmental point of view, but actually from a cost yeah. and kind of mm -hmm. convenience point of view as well. Mm -hmm.